back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much if you're new here please do consider subscribing my name is Elsie and I'm a mother of two and this is two days with us so please sit back and relax we got up to quite a few things in these two days so yes enjoy wanted to show you the products that I'll be using on Mia's hair after it comes out so I've got her conditioner here dream kids um it's a detangling moisturizing conditioner and then the shampoo so they come two well you buy two of them in one yeah like, Miley let's just see that quickly oh Miley's not letting me but anyway and this is the um <laughs> the soft hold styling it's good for like making the hair look really nice and slow I so yeah that's what i use on my hair so yeah let's take a hair out okay Mali, you can take it now i'll finish fish tank here and it is mm. <laughs> gonna clean it hello baby Kevin's hello taking Gigi. out fishing out the fish <laughs> la, 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 la. fish 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 oh there goes one fishy 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 <laughs> 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 it's just dropping in man still swimming Make in here sure. boy cheese and bread got like this is actually crazy. It got this is 30. Bold. It got 30. <laughs> Started off with like eight and now we've got Why like all a whole of them spool. on that side? Just taking out all the coral that we're going to clean out and wash. Wow. By the way, this is like a hair break. <laughs> taking a little break from taking out her hair. Oh, that's much better. We can actually see inside the fish tank. <laughs> And the stones are all washed up and Kevin's just getting ready to put our friends back in there now. on my head i think ever since that video that i made with um the school routine where i had the polo on my head it's not changed i need to get a head scarf or some sort of like hair bonnet i just haven't had the chance to do it yet anyway i've taken out her hair and because yesterday i did a little product haul basically showing you what i use in mia's hair and mali was just doing the most so I thought I'd just do it again now. Bearing in mind, I actually use these on Mali as well. They both have completely different hair textures, but I've still not yet found something for Mali per se, because her hair is completely different to Mia's. However, I'm just using this for now. Okay, so please just ignore any sounds you hear in the back. That's just me and Malaika in the shower. Um, and there's a lot of lights, but yeah, it's just from the window in the bathroom, because this is the only place I can do it. So, this is the Dream Kids um, Detangling Moisturising Shampoo and it's Sister, which is the Detangling Moisturising Conditioner. So, I just use both of them together. Got them off Amazon, but my mum normally gets them for me anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the shampoo and conditioner. This is the Kids Original Natural Conditioning Detangler. I really like this because it takes out every single knot in her hair like i don't know what formula is in here but it just it's like magic honestly i love 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 it i use it on myself i use it on mali and yeah i would highly recommend that if your children or yourself actually if you like struggle with knots and 
you know, when you're combing your hair and it's literally just a wall with your comb. That is the Soft Hold Styling Hairdress. It's like a gel. And then this is like the moisturizer I put in my hair. Um, it's also from the Kids Organics range. Um, and I've got Kids Organics and Dream Kids. I'm not really too fussed on the brand or anything like that. Ever since I've had Mia, this is what I've used and I've just kind of like stuck to it. So if there's anything else that's not this that you could recommend for me, so that would be really good if you can recommend something for her. If it's not this, but for now, this is what's gonna work. So let's wash her hair. something a little bit different normally i would go in with a blow dryer straight away but then i thought hmm what about if i just kind of like plait it while it's a bit dump and then in the morning before school we could just take it out and we don't have to blow dry it just trying to think the whole heat thing i've seen quite a few videos of people talking about like don't put heat on children's hair and that sort of thing so maybe i'm thinking of doing that actually yeah let me just plait it into like six seven plaits in her hair and then tomorrow when you take it out for school hopefully she'll be stretched out guys i just wanted to show you the finished renewed fish tank before i go on to doing mia's hair again because it's a bit later on now it's a bit dark and kev's finished cleaning it he's off to the gym now and oh my god they are so happy they're literally swimming in amazing water like look at them normal swimming in poo guys and girls sections and tomorrow we'll comb it out and see how it is before school so yeah that's it for nice nice and moisturized and wet and oh so, so hopefully stretches it out and that will be good i think we're just gonna watch some movies a movie not some movies it's sunday night and just hit bed it's been a very long day doing hair and yeah but we're gonna see what to watch actually. Just gonna figure out what we wanna watch. I don't know. Something on Prime or mm, me, I was watching The Grinch, but I don't know. We're gonna watch something off Netflix or Prime. What do you want? I don't, I'm not a range girl. I want a Jeep. <laughs> I think a Jeep is better. What do you think, guys? Jeep or Range Rover? <laughs> anyway, we are going to go to bed now, for real. Well, watch movies and go to bed. So I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, guys. Let me put you down, actually. Ugh. Morning. I hope you're all okay and having a great day. So I've just done the school run. But I've got quite a few errands to do today, so I thought I'd take you with me. Um, my eldest daughter's birthday is coming up very, very soon. So I'm going to go get some birthday stuff from town. And uh, I've also got to pop into Sainsbury's. And finally, I'm going to go visit a nursery that I want my youngest to attend after Easter. So I've got quite a few things to do today. In terms of the birthday, I've got most of the stuff of Amazon and eBay, but these are three things like, you know, the badge and the card um, that I need to get today. So I thought that I'll take you with me today. Actually, before I go, I thought I would say that 
I would probably do a um, a video showing everything that I've got for Mia's birthday. So just in general, every year I normally do like a different theme for them. Um, they don't always have parties, but they wake up to like some balloons, some decorations and that sort of thing. And this year um, I'm doing a Super Mario theme for her. She's obsessed with Super Mario. So I thought that would be quite a good idea. I've got, you know, the Blues, Luigi, um, Super Mario and the whole gang. Yeah, I will do a little video. So just to show you every single thing I've got, both from Amazon, eBay and from Shopping Today. And if you'd like to see more of that sort of content, then please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, um, yeah, we're just going to head off and go shopping. <laughs> from shopping um like i said i will show you exactly what i got from mia for her birthday this year yeah so let me just show you what i got so this package is from amazon i did tell you i got some stuff from ebay what i actually was meant to get from ebay hasn't arrived yet so yeah i haven't got anything from ebay just yet but hopefully should arrive in time it's a garland um so yeah hopefully when that comes i'll show you that to you as well so this is a Super Mario balloon, one of those big, big ones. So that would be really good. I don't know if the Luigi one's in here as well, but it all comes in this one pack. So everything I'm showing you at the moment is from this one pack. Oh, I can get it out. Of balloons. So some green ones, blue ones, yellow ones, some red ones, and some string that will go with it. I got a happy birthday cake topper and some cupcake toppers in there so there's like toad in there and some of the cute little bits and the little sticks that will hold the cupcake toppers i also got a i can't remember what this is this should be the banner i'm not going to take every single card out but as you can see i love everything i normally get from amazon for these kids birthdays they're always really really good quality and you know they just do the job and then it also comes with some stickers the whole pack i believe was 11 pound yeah i think it was in that i'll just double check it i'll put the actual screen on the price <laughs> the actual price on the screen but i think it was about 11 pound if i was doing a birthday party for her i would have got like the cups and the plates and the napkins and the tablecloth i will insert some footage from past birthdays i've done for the girls so you can kind of see what i mean the second thing i got for her is from cake shop so it's basically that it's a cake topper and it says mia is seven in this super mario bundle it came with a happy birthday cake topper but it doesn't say her name it's um amazon really really good stuff another thing i've got for her was this little slim diary i got it from asta it's a pound but the only reason why i got this is because mia loves documenting everything she does in her scrapbooks and i thought you know what she's turning seven so it's a good idea for her to actually get a little diary it's really slim with a week to week view um it's got this print she really likes cats so i thought that would be quite nice and it just shows like every single day she just writes in there maybe what she does every single day or what she's going to do i kind of go through with her how to use it so she can actually use it properly but bearing in mind that she loves to do this sort of thing i thought having a little diary is not only good for her to write what she wants but it will teach her how to actually keep a diary when she's older card factory bag <laughs> got her a little hat got her a card her sister picked this card well I picked it, but she really liked the colour. She was like, purple, purple. A big ginormous card for Molly to her. And then I got this candle, just a seven on there. It's cute, sparkly, and it's got all the Super Mario colours. And then 
as we do in my house it doesn't matter if it's a party or if it's just us four we always have party hats so that's for all of us she has a single big one but we all wear hats as well so we even did this for my dad's birthday actually like we just love a party hat in our family <laughs> got her one of these to tie on one of her presents so i'm just gonna attach it to one of her presents that my mum and dad are getting for her and i got her this oh, oh i can turn it i got her this key ring as well it has the letter m on it in gold and this really pretty like round thing at the back she loves anything that goes on her bag she loves putting like her mcdonald's um key rings on there she got one from kata airways so she's really into sticking stuff into her bag so i thought this is really nice and she can stick it on there obviously m for mia and yeah it, it's a bit grown but mia really she's into such grown stuff when it comes to things like key rings and little knickknacks so i thought that would be really nice for her she's always looking at key rings when you go out so i thought that would be really nice and it's some of her favorite colors so i got that last but definitely not least i got a number seven to wear to school and for the whole day obviously but anyway that's everything i got for mia's birthday i did try to get an outfit for her in um sainsbury's to wear on the day but i just couldn't find anything everything is so christmasy not that there's anything wrong with that stuff but it's just so christmasy so i'm gonna look at maybe asda or matalan or somewhere I don't know, I'm just gonna look for something. Yeah, later on, Kevin should be bringing home um, uh, food shopping, so I'll do a little haul from Aldi. Ugh, she was loving her new nursery that she'll go mom. to in April, won't you, Mally? Yeah, we went to see the nursery, mommy, by the way, and, mommy, oh, I love it, and she'll love it as well. Mom. So, yeah, let's just put all this stuff away and we'll catch up with you all later. I will show you how Mia's hair turned out when I pick her up from school later but yesterday Kevin and I did an Aldi click and collect shop and yes he's just come back home dropped everything here with me and I thought I could just do a little Aldi grocery haul so everything on the table is what we normally get a week for a family of four um, we do buy a lot of things in bulk so things like toilet paper rice pasta um a few meats as well we buy those in bulk but normally this is what we have yeah so i'll probably just go around the table and just go through everything with you um yeah we've got some milk here the semi-skimmed long life milk we've got some whole wheat spaghetti i actually got this by mistake one time and i've never turned back because it actually tastes really really good and it's actually better for your stomach. So yeah, the kids' tummies are much better with whole wheat spaghetti than normal spaghetti. <laughs> but anyway, um, we've got some cheese puffs here. The girls absolutely love these. They taste a bit like the Cheetos, but yeah, that's just the Aldi version. I've got one big pack of those and there's 10 in there. So it's quite a lot, you know, for the week. And we've got some eggs here. Kevron absolutely loves eggs as part of his diet. So we literally just always have to have eggs. And we've got some wraps there. We've got some grated cheddar cheese. We used to buy the block of cheese because I think it actually has more cheese. But oh my God, I'm just fed up of grating cheese. So one time I said to him, you know what? Let's just buy it grated. Like it's really not that deep. So we buy grated cheddar cheese now. We've got some mince meat there. And then we also found these. The two packets of ice cream lollies, a reindeer one and a snowman one. Uh, they're so cute as well. And I just thought, you know what? Christmas is around the corner. We normally buy the cones that are, I think it's the strawberry, strawberry and cream and the toffee and vanilla ones. But when I saw these online, I thought, you know what? Let's just treat the kids to something else. Uh, we've got three packets of chicken wings there. They're so reasonable in Aldi. And I normally buy hundreds of these. There's loads in the freezer. But I don't know. I always top up when it comes to chicken wings. Because we love chicken wings in this house. Um, we've got some chicken thighs there. Two packs. Some frozen mixed veg. Um, some yogurt there for the girls. They do have a strawberry one. But then every time I ask Mia to go get some yogurt. 
she picks this specific flavor for her and Mali. So I just thought they probably just prefer this one anyway. So I just buy this one. Pack of bananas there. Got some bread again. It's wholemeal, better for all of us, healthier. And these are toasting muffins. I absolutely love these. I make mini pizzas for the girls like on the weekend or just as a snack. Mia says it actually tastes like a mini Domino's. So <laughs> I'm a bit gassed with that. But yeah, I love these for pizzas. Um, we've got some smoked ham. I normally buy the trim, ham trimmings. Yeah, the trimmings, but they didn't have any online. So I just pick these ones up instead some mild pepperoni again really really good for the pizza muffins i normally put barbecue sauce pepperoni for me and kev and then the girls just like ham or like sausage or hot dog or something like that they're not really big on pepperoni but like i said i absolutely love making mini pizzas and that's what i use and then we've got some french fries and in terms of sauce, sauces, we've got some barbecue sauce. We always use it. We needed some more coffee. Got some of that. Absolutely love sweet chili sauce. Got some of that. And some vegetable oil. And last but certainly not least, our cookies. Well, biscuits. The chocolate chip cookies there. And cookies and creams, which are like, what, Oreos? Kids absolutely love these two. We never get anything else. And we love them too. So, yeah. That pretty much sums up everything we've got from Aldi for this week. And when I say this is a weekly shop, we normally shop on a Saturday. So this technically should be Sunday to Friday. Yeah, Sunday to Friday. However, I wasn't. we weren't able to shop on Saturday because we had quite a few plans that day. And we shopped on Monday. But otherwise, I'm going to put all this stuff away. And actually, can you guess how much this actually costs? have a guess but yeah i'm gonna put everything away into their homes and yeah just got Mia from school and I just wanted to show you the end result of her hair actually 
I put it in these two little bunches but you can tell it's kind of stretched out really really well and that's with no heat and nothing just literally washing the hair letting it dry and va va voom isn't it Mia yeah so yeah I'm happy with the results literally so yeah it's obviously rained a little bit so it's a bit wet it's a bit wet but <laughs> you can tell that it worked actually so i'm happy so we're back home from the school run just settling in and i just thought i'd end this video here i hope you really enjoyed it um as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever i post a new video um i'm gonna try and post once a week at best twice so i'll try and post on the weekends and once in the week but if you could just leave me a comment below anything you'd like to see on this channel but as always thank you so much i appreciate you watching my videos and i'll see you all in my next one bye guys